everyone, welcome everyone to Super Smash Brothers League Playoffs Week 5. Uh, I'm Snuffy Sam, and I'm joined today by my co-host, uh, Malachi. Hi, people. Uh, so, uh, this is a pretty interesting week. Um, at the end of this week, we'll only have three people left in the playoffs, and we'll know uh, one of the teams that will be uh, in the championship match. Yep. <sighs> Feels so weird. Um, because it's entirely possible for like my team to have faced to reface uh Musketeers for a second time mm -hmm. next week. E yeah. Or in two weeks. Yeah. Even. Or so. you won't. This is true too. Yeah. Um But yeah, it, it's it's really interesting, uh, Musketeers run because, like, uh, third Beefcakes, Third Wheels, Classic Mode Champions. These were the top three teams in the main season. Musketeers were not. Yeah, they. Oh, well, I mean, to be fair, they they really got a lot of their problems worked out towards the end of the season, mm -hmm. and you know the the playoffs also kind of helped them too because you know they're able to. You know they're they're not getting hit by a lot of uh, stage swapping like they were in yeah. the main season, or at least that's my recollection. Yeah, uh, like uh, uh, the the main season uh, really hurts them because like stage morph, like stage morph, and, and just in general not knowing what what uh, stage your character will end up on uh, unless your home unless you're the home map and they're the first character. Um, that really that really hurts them because they have a bunch of really bad recoveries. Yeah. Um. And yeah, that's just not a problem in the playoffs where you know what you're getting into for the most part. Mm-hmm. So um, let's let's get into the uh, first match. Yep. Musketeers versus Third Wheels. Um, two very strong, very powerful teams. Mm -hmm. Um, third wheels has been very consistent all season. Um, you know, I, I think they've, I don't think they've had quite as impressive showing in the playoffs. Um, I, they, they've had quite a few three O's. Okay. Um, maybe it's, I'm confusing them with someone else, but you know, I, it can, I can see this going either way still. Um, you know, they're both really strong teams. Um, you know, uh, Sonic, Third Wheels has Sonic, who should just, just Celebi. Why, Sonic? Celebi. Why? Um, but, and Musketeers, they've just kind of come in their own, especially Hero. Uh, Hero, Hero has, has just, like, really shot up to where I think he's probably the best on the team right now. Yeah. And, and that's a hard competition with Robin in the wings. Yeah, like you've got Hero, you've got Robin. Um, I mean, it it is a very hard competition on that team to see who would be the best. Um, yeah, because you know, behind them, I mean, you've got Roy and Marth, mm -hmm. and then you know, although Meta Knight is technically the weakest, he is also not someone you really want to. Yeah, I, I mean, especially now that they know uh, what stages will have, like, they know which stages will be away stages so they can put the char their one character with a good recovery on those stages. Like, Meta Knight is way mm -hmm. more useful to them in the playoffs. Oh, yeah. So. so yeah, and yeah. I mean, on, on Third Wheel's side, yeah, I, I mean, like, uh, Ryu's been solid, Sonic's been amazing, Snake has been, like, an impenetrable wall. I don't think, I don't think anyone's uh, actually gotten past Snake. I don't think so. Yeah, and like Cloud, Cloud, we Cloud, we've seen uh, because of a mistake that I accidentally did an extra round, uh, but um, <laughs> and he was good there. So yeah, it's hard, it's hard to say if Musketeers will actually uh, beat Third Wheels. Yeah, uh, but, I um, mean, it, it's definitely a match that can go either way. Um, we probably do just for some of the people who didn't see it and chat. Uh, but third wheels did not get their builds in on time. Mm -hmm. 
I think. Yeah, so, so... Thir Third Wheels had uh, their... Third Wheels had the builds from their uh, previous week uh, just reused. I figured that in the playoffs, you don't really... Like, ra randomi randomizing is, like, necessary in the main season because the bench has to come in, and, like, then I have to, like, might as well randomize someone... Like, then I have to randomize someone else to come out on the bench, and then might as well randomize the order. Uh, but, like, yep. for the playoffs, uh, it doesn't really... It, it doesn't really, like, make a difference if you use the same uh, builds each week, so I just figured, just use the same builds as last week. Hey, it works. Yeah. Uh, like, there, there's no need to punish them by, like, having Snake benched, or, like, ha having both Richter and Cloud in, and they lose a, they lose a support point. Because uh, their most recent yeah. builds uh, conflicted. So yeah, uh, this first uh, round is uh, Hero versus Ryu. Uh, Ryu's been very powerful with that uh, Gold Mario, who's been pretty solid on that uh, level eight AI. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, Hero's been amazing on King of Fighters Stadium, which is the map we're on right now. So yeah, this this gonna be interesting. It is for sure going to be interesting. Uh, let's let's get into it. Musketeers versus uh, Musketeers versus Third of Wheels. Hero versus Ryu. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So here we are on a uh, King of Fighters Stadium. Mm-hmm. Ryu getting the yeah. early lead. Ryu getting the early lead, but Hero can just as easily take that back. He he has such high damaging moves. If, if he just connects with them. So oh, excuse me, excuse me. What? I got ah uh, that, that stock that stock was done. That's ah uh, that stock was done. Okay. Um. I, I guess that, we're not seeing another fine. Hero three stock. <laughs> yeah, I mean Ryu has definitely made that a thing. All the you know. Although Hero is trying to get this back to be in an equal fight and doing an admirable job. <clears throat> yeah, I, I mean, I mean, he he did it. He brought it back to an even fight. He, Ryu's not in the lead anymore. Uh, I mean, I yeah. guess I guess by a couple percent, but like, he he doesn't have a stock lead at this point. But yeah, like that first, uh, like you just blink uh, and oh, hi, there's a stock missing. Yeah, like Hero just kamikaze himself. I don't know why. And now, and now Ryu's uh, gonna use his uh, gonna use his uh, uh, big Hadou big Hadouk and doesn't kill. Yep, that's unfortunate. Uh, he really uh, needs to oh! kill Hero early. Ooh. Oh, Hero used oomph, and that just boosted his damage so much. Yeah, like that. That's the thing about Hero. You cannot. You cannot l sleep on him for even a second. He he has such high damage output if he wants to. Yeah. And here comes his final smash. It's and not gonna kill this early. No, it can't. Likely. Yeah, and it, and it does twenty percent, which is pretty. Good. Ooh, he uses oomph again though. That's not good. Hero's gonna be doing a lot of damage with his sword attacks. I believe oomph only yeah. affects sword attacks. Uh, not not his uh, lightning. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure myself, but I mean, at, by the same token, Ryu could just knock him out uh, right away. He's at a high enough percentage. Yeah, well, Ryu, Ryu could uh, sure you can him. But, like, like he, sure you can will kill at this percent. Yeah, and but I mean, I think. <coughs> and Hero's so, so this. will uh, down air, I guess. <laughs> yeah, like I, I think Hero's got this though. Like yeah, Ryu's just at too Ryu. high a percent. Yeah, like Gold Mario isn't doing anything for Ryu anymore, so it's basically an empty Ryu build against a fresh hero. Uh, yeah. I mean, Ryu has Final Smash. This will do something if he hits with it. Uh, Hero yeah, needs I mean, to keep his distance, so he gets the he gets the he gets the one that does less damage, which he does. Yeah. I mean, yeah, unless Ryu just plays perfectly, though, like it's just a matter of time. Yeah, just like some perfect combo into Shoryuken, killing him off the top really early. All right, here here's Hero with Oomph again. He's got Bang. Accelerator. <laughs> he's just he's just using every spell. <laughs> oh my goodness. Could could we see oh. it happen? No. Nope. 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 Alright. And Hero wins round one. Yep. 
good good job hero yeah, let's look at these stats um hero does 400 percent compared to Ryu's 200 yeah that damage output oh my goodness like he he can just like he can just <laughs> he could, you, you 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 saw him like towards the end he was just going into down being like spamming everything that made him better <laughs> Like, yeah. boom, accelerate all, and then, like, just every, like, bang, bang, everything mm -hmm. he wants to do, <laughs> and you just can't stop him. Yeah. All right. Uh, I mean, but yeah, like, Ryu, like, even though the damage numbers were so different, like, Ryu made that a very close match. Mm -hmm. Like, he, he did a really good job. Yeah. Yeah, like, third wheel shouldn't count Ryu out. Like, he, he definitely, um... Yeah, he, he definitely put he up a fight against one of the scariest characters in the playoffs. Yeah, like he, he definitely put up a really good fight, and that that gold Mario like had anything else happened, like if Hero hadn't been spamming his strengthening uh, su supports mm -hmm. and just trying to dish out that high damage, like that could have very easily gone a different way. Yeah. Um, so on to the uh, next round. All right. So uh, next round is on uh, Igrisil's altar, and we're going to be doing um, Mark versus Sonic, which is interesting. We haven't seen Mark in the playoffs at all. Yeah. Um, so, what what are your thoughts? I mean, I nine times out of ten, I'm gonna give this to Sonic. Yeah. Um, I don't. I just don't remember <laughs> Marth being um, as impressive. And then you put Sonic, you know, with Sonic just being the hit and run and that Celebi heal. I mean, he it's been very formidable. Yeah, um, I mean, Marth has a history with this uh, stage, for one thing. That's fair. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I'm not, I mean, he does have ho -Oh to help him with that, but uh, Marth does have a bit of a history with this stage. <laughs> yeah. Um, honestly, if I were to guess... It, it almost feels like, like so Sonic's been like the, se like Sonic's been the second character for uh, Third Wheels basically this entire uh, time. It almost feels like Marth is a sacrifice. Yeah, I'd have to agree. But, like, I but could, he could also take it, this. Yes, I mean, like as I said, like nine times out of ten, I'm gonna, gonna give this to Sonic. But we could still see this one, be that one out of ten time. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, Marth versus Sonic. Alright. So, um... Let's, let's see the, the uh, platform is about to leave. Is Marth going to... Is yep. Marth going to get caught off guard? He is! Yep. yep. <laughs> and that Beautiful. This this stage is not a friend of Marth. No, the the stage is not really a friend of many people. Yeah. And um, like, I don't know, like, like, Mar Marth's barely even hit Sonic, and Sonic's at zero percent. Marth's twenty two percent yeah. on his next dot. Yeah. Um. As I said, like, I feel like this is just a sacrifice. Um, could we see, like, you know, now the trade-off is, is, you know, Sonic always could just get, um, knocked out himself by the stage. Uh, I mean, the stage doesn't do that thing anymore. That's only, that's only for the, that's only for the start of the match, so. Yeah. Uh, right now it's just a normal state. Oh, man. And there goes Marth's second stock. Oh. Just hit too far off stage. Yeah, this... Yeah, the, this is just not looking good. The, the stage is going to kill him before Sonic ever gets a chance to. Yeah. I mean, at least 
probably won't be a 30 minute match or a 40 minute match. Yeah. Or a 50 minute match. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> I mean, it. Yeah, like the stage just works so well for Sonic. It's kind of disgusting. But, I mean, it's also proven itself to be very effective for third wheels, and I mean, it's, it's nothing to knock. Yeah, it's it's really been a great stage for them. Uh, I, I'm not sure they've... Like, they, they, they've won most matches that they've had on it. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean... Because they've used this for the first few weeks during the the last few weeks of the main season, yeah. which is also around the time I think they put Sonic on Celebi. Yeah, ba they bas basically on that at, right when Sonic got Celebi, they switched to the stage. Yeah, and, and it it's just worked for them. Um, I, I really don't like that combination of all three, but you I, know, I, what are you I mean, do? I mean, uh, Sonic loses Celebi next season, so whatever. Fair. This is true. Yeah, we we ha we have so. at most uh, if you if you include if you include this match, we have at most two more weeks, uh, three more weeks with Sonic at Celebi. Yeah. So. And there he goes. Okay. And there we go. Woo! Yeah. I really hope I really I hope did. Marth wasn't an integral part of their uh, uh, Musketeer's success because if so, they're screwed. But. Yeah, uh, I I, th I think uh, Mar they probably did not expect uh, Marth to win. They probably expected Sonic to be in the second slot, uh, or just or just like the fact that it's a third wheel stage that's really bad for them. Like they expected that uh, in the second round, and they they figured let's let's just let's just get rid of Marth. Probably, I mean, because it's realistically you either put your worst one of your worst recovery people there. And just accept the loss, mm -hmm. or you put Meta Knight yeah, there. Like that. And... and to be fair, Meta Knight is round four. Like that. That is that is their plan. Yeah. I think they do plan on having a Meta Knight like succeed there round four. But but like yeah. they they need they need they have two they have two matches on this map. What are they gonna do? Mm hmm. So, but yeah, no, they've got. I mean, they had to do something, and I mean, this was the right. I oh, think it was the right call to make. Uh, Sonic, Sonic he only healed ninety-seven percent, uh, which is pretty small for him. Yeah, uh, I mean, a lot of that is just Marth didn't hit with a lot. Mm -hmm. um, Sonic's just so jumpy and floaty. Yeah, and, that and like he when, never really when Marth did up. hit, he probably hit with his sour spot because, like, Marth needs really yeah. precise. Like, Marth has really precise hitboxes, and just Sonic moves too fast for him to hit with them. Yeah. So, um, let's move on to round three. Mm-hmm. Alright, so we're back on uh, King of Fighters Stadium. And this will be uh, Robin versus Snake. Oh, boy. That's gonna be fun. Come on, costumes. Um... I'm probably gonna have to give that one to Snake. He he's been a lot more. Um, I feel he's a lot more consistent. Yeah. Than Robin like, has been. I, I mean, like Robin, both of these characters have won every single match they've had in the playoffs. But like. Yeah. And, and by a pretty large margin too. Uh, Snake has been, like, scarier. I think like Snake's been a pretty hard wall. Like yeah. even when characters are able to survive, his you know like normal moves, like his smash attacks, his projectiles, all that. Even when they're able to survive that, his final smash comes in and just like wipes you off the map. Yeah. So like, and... it's going to be interesting to see if, I mean, if anyone can beat Snake, it's Robin. But like. Yeah, I mean, I kind of gotta get. I kind of got to agree, like, Robin can do it, you know, I, I think it's a, like, my favorite is definitely Snake 2, though. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, Robin has tank style, which will mean he takes less damage. That, that'll that help him in this match. And then he has Celebi. Yeah, and, and... Which will, 
I mean, I think Celebi will help if he can stall out Snake, and like if he can if he can get him with those uh, with those uh, arc fires. Yeah. Like just trap him in those, like lock him down. Uh, you'll give him final smash charge, but that's fine. You're healing. Yeah. So I I think that's uh, Robin's uh, win strategy, but uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I would agree. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Oh, so, um, oh. Robin has the first damage on the board and the second. Yeah, we'll we'll see how long Snake lets that last though. But it does seem like yeah. uh, Robin Ro is interesting, the interesting for Robin to use up one of his uh, Nosferatu charges uh, already, given that he was at zero percent. Uh, it, it's kind of pop I think it would be a better strategy to like wait until he's uh, more damaged to use those, but. Uh, at, at the same time, damage is mm -hmm. damage. But like, you know, it, it, if I'm going to choose, but like he's got a limited amount of those, and if I'm going to choose between damage and damage, but I also heal, <laughs> then like, I choose the healing. Fair. And okay, Snake's out his final but. smash, but it won't kill at this percent. And uh, Robin can just uh, walk up and hit Snake while his final smash is going. Yeah, it didn't kill. Oh, Ro Robin has a yeah, pretty sizable I mean, lead now. Yeah, he's just been destroying Snake. Like, I don't know if Snake's just having an off off day. Ooh, don't. Or... <clears throat> Ooh. The Kamehameha just taking out Snake. Yeah. I mean, Snake's just having a hard time with him. It seems like Robin's just got his number. Um, and. Because I'm certainly not used to seeing Snake get handled like yeah, this. Yeah, I, I mean, um. Robin's been cat. Robin's been really smart about uh, catching the grenades and throwing them back. I think I feel like his AI is mm -hmm. probably programmed uh, for good item play because he has a lot. He has items with his special moves, kind of. If uh, when when they run out, he can throw the books and stuff. So like. Oh nice. Oh, and here comes Snake's final smash. This might kill at this percent, but he's already Robin's already a pretty big lead. Um, I'm not even yeah, sure. I mean, well, even yeah, if it. Yeah, I was gonna say, even if it does, like, that's still, like, all Robin needs is one good hit, and on a stage like this, that's the, that's the stock. Yeah. <clears throat> Although it does seem like Snake's starting to adjust. Um, yeah, Sna Snake's starting to hit Robin, he's keeping himself from getting hit by uh, Robin's uh, sword and his uh, spells. So, uh, uh mm. but Robin, when he just hits with that, uh, what, uh, like, every single hit... With that Levin Sword, is just so much damage. Especially since Snake yeah. has a Demon Style, which means he takes more damage. Yeah, he takes more damage, and you'd think he'd be able to do more, but it's just... You know, he is just not able to uh, hit him. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, like Robin's happened. being really good with his shield, he's being really good with catching his grenades. Yeah. I mean, Robin's just on point, and it's and there, showing. there goes Snake. Uh, Robin's Ooh. basically a stock in the lead right now. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, Robin with the Nosferatu. All right, so Snake with the final smash. This won't do anything. This will not kill unless Robin like deliberately <laughs> run, jumps into the blast zone. And yeah, Robin's yeah. about to get his final smash. Yeah. This will, I think he'll probably want to do some extra damage before he does it. Nope, he just lets it rip. Oh, I mean, you know, it, at this point, just let it hit, and that's just damage. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like they're they're even in damage, and, and but uh, Robin's a stock in the lead, so this is not looking good for Snake. Yeah. It is not. Um, yeah, like I did not expect Snake to get handled like this. Um, Robin's just got his number, and he is taking it to him. <clears throat> and there goes Snake. And there he goes. Robin with two stocks remaining, and pretty low percent, too. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that brings down to a Meta Knight versus Cloud. Yeah, that, that could be our 
Uh, yeah, uh, Musketeers have a 2-1 lead. Uh, that it could all come mm -hmm. down to that. 200 damage recovered from Robin. Good. Holy cow. Wow. I like... Yeah, like, Snake had three final smashes, but he was only able to kill with one of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, that, that healing just... You know, it was just too much for him. Um, like, the and, healing, I mean, and honestly, you, I feel like Robin ice. just outsmarted Snake. Like, he didn't get hit as much. Yeah, he, no, he, he, like, he blocked a lot. He, like, managed to outrange Snake, counter all his moves. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's like Snake needed that distance, and Robin just never gave it to him. Um, and Robin, because of that, Robin just shut him down. Uh, so, um, on to round four, potentially our final round. Yep. Yep. I'll, like, so this is Meta Knight versus Cloud. Yeah. I might have to give it to Cloud. Um, I, I feel like some of the issues we saw during the main season have been kind of worked out. Um, on, on the other side, though, I feel like Meta Knight is still a more solid character. But, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like Meta Knight is a more solid character, and I feel like uh, Meta Knight has a better recovery on this stage. Yeah. Uh, that that could definitely come into play but here. Like, I also feel like Cloud could just, like, outrange Meta Knight, hit him with the... Hit him with a sword where he can't hit you back, like just, just kind, just kind of yeah. like the the bully putting his hand on the little kid. You, you can't hit him. Yeah, I mean, to some extent, yeah. I think though, Judd is just going to come in, and I think that's going to help mm -hmm. Meta Knight a lot against yeah, Cloud. Yeah, I, th I think that'll help too. I, I mean, Cloud, Cloud has a really and... strong final smash <laughs> if he hits with it, but he doesn't have anything to boost that. Yeah, like it. It, you know, in terms of the fight, it's who's going to win. Is it going to be the guy who can get in the uh, chip damage, or the one who's probably not going to get a lot of hits in, but can when he does hit, it's going to yeah. do a lot. So, because Cloud does have Golgan, he does have Mario Tennis Aces, which will help his sword damage well, a lot. Yeah. So, uh, so, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll we'll see how it goes. Meta Knight versus Cloud. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> All right. And uh, Meta Knight starting with some early hits, but uh, Cloud managing to get a cross slash in. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, kind of going as expected. But... I mean, you know, like you were saying earlier, like the recovery might be in Meta Knight's favor. That might be the what this match comes down to. Who can recover better on this? Because um, it is a bit of a, you know, it is a small yeah, I, stage. I will say, uh, Cloud managed to survive uh, from the uh, Cloud managed to survive the start of the stage, like when it transitions from the ground to the air, which is which was yeah. what I thought was the an easy way for him to lose an early stock that Meta Knight just wouldn't have a problem with. Yeah. But, um... So right now, it's uh, pretty even. Uh-oh. Oh, and Meta Knight doesn't uh -oh. make it back. Oof. Cloud footstools him while he's at the bottom of the stage. Yeah. But let's, let's see what Meta Knight... If Meta Knight can... Meta Knight can take off. Uh, finish mm -hmm. Cloud off quickly. Because he is about to have his final smash, and if I remember correctly, Judd lets you use final smash yeah. twice in a row, right? So he gets two final smashes in a row, which um, that that'll either oh, be man. like and... that'll either be like the first one. Oh, oh, so he he can oh, he can use he it twice on a fresh stock, which um, if if he can oh, if he can get be... like a little bit of damage off if he... uh, in between those or before using this first one, uh, that could that could be. Um, <clears throat> that that could be a, a that could lead to a kill. Yeah, I mean, I would honestly also possibly just oh, use it for the legend the... invincibility. Oh, and now Cloud his, has his final smash, but he misses. Oh, that's 
that's so good for Meta Knight because that could have killed him so easily yeah, at this but point. Unfortunately, Meta Knight, um, Meta Knight is still pretty far behind in percent. Yeah. I mean, he can still catch up though. Like, maybe. Um, maybe not. Um, yeah, like, he, okay. he's just taking a lot of damage from Cloud. He's not getting killed, uh, thankfully, but he, he's having trouble catching up. Yeah. Oh! I mean, one good smash is gonna and be... And that cross oh. slash takes him out. He, he shielded through most of it. Yep. But, unfortunately, he just dropped his shield too early, I guess. Yeah. And now Cloud's just kind of a stock in the lead, and it looks like we're gonna be going into round five. Yeah. Which is, uh... uh pretty exciting. It's the first round, first round five we've seen with either of these teams. Mm hmm I mean, assuming Meta Knight doesn't just, like, bring this back right now. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, yeah, Meta Knight just I, I mean, he, back right he now. Got like, it. Just... He got Cloud off the stage, oh, and he it's, did. he's he relatively did. low nice. percent right now. He could do this. Yep, and he's yeah. almost at a final I mean, like, smash, too. Like, he... Not he... almost, almost, but, like... But, like, um... Yeah, may maybe a bit more. But yeah, but like, well, I don't know. Cloud might not get yeah, him a like chance. Yeah, like what Meta Knight really wants is to get Cloud up to like maybe thirty percent. That way, uh, two final smashes will definitely kill him if he connects with the both of them, and even yeah. one will put him in a very terrible position. Yeah. All and right. All it takes is a... so Meta Knight's up at the thirty percent mark. Like I said, uh, or rather, he's gotten yep. caught up to that. All right, is oh. he going to use it? Is he going to use his final smash? He uses he it. Gonna... He connects. Oh, this could be bad. All right, this won't kill, but he has his final smash again. If he can use it. Oh, he just gets Cloud off the stage. He oh. doesn't even need it. Wow. Congratulations to Musketeers. Musketeers taking a... Whew. Very difficult, but... Down? <laughs> but, um... Yeah, very difficult. Down to the wire. Oh my goodness. Good job, Meta Knight. Yeah. Uh, Meta Knight didn't connect with all his final smashes, but he used them well. Uh, he got he got Cloud off the stage, which is what he needed. And he just managed to bring it back from the brink of defeat. Mm-hmm. Yep. Ooh. So, um... So that is that. Yeah, that match, is that is that match. Um, to... Yeah, Mus Musketeers are in the championship match. From the they from are. basically the bottom of the main season to the championship match. Mm hmm All right. Well, uh, yeah. On to our last yeah. match of the week. Classic Mode Champions versus the Beefcakes. Oh, yep. The match that determines my team's future. It determines whether... Uh, I, I mean, it's hard to imagine both of the either of these teams losing. Like, both of these teams have been incredible in the main season. They are incredible uh, in the playoffs. Except for losing yep. the Musketeers, which uh, y'all might have to do again. <laughs> I mean, I don't intend on losing to them again. Yeah. So, but yes, no, both of both teams have done really well. Um, you know, Beefcakes have even done well on, you know, not flat zone X, which is good to see. Uh, especially since during the main season, like, you know, if they weren't on flat zone X, they just did not look like a, they, they looked good, but they did not look as good as they did on flat zone X. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what will happen here. Yeah, and I suppose I suppose it's important to just uh, I guess look at the matchups. First matchup is uh, Luigi versus Incineroar on uh, mm -hmm. Hyrule Castle. Yep. Um, it's so. interesting that they put Incineroar here. I guess I mean I guess their logic is like looking at uh, rounds two and four. Uh, they have uh, Ike and Ganondorf. They definitely want those characters on Flats and X. Yep. And um, I guess Incineroar was just a character they thought was strong enough 
uh, on the away map. Well, that, and it could also have been, like, because I usually had, like, Donkey Kong or Link or mm. one of my top tier characters first. They might have just figured on Sacrifice and Sun Aurora because he is not one of their better players, which I'm just guessing at this point. Um, you know, to whoever that might be, and, you know, get the wins on Flat Zone X. That's, so. that's, that's could be a possibility. But I suppose, um, but. yeah, I'm not sure who's going to win this. And Sunomura has a really high damage output, but Luigi uh, just lasts for so long with healing, and he has his final smashes, yep. which he's really good at. Yep. So it's hard to I say. Mean, it'll be interesting, that's for certain. Mm -hmm. So... Yep, well, Luigi let's, versus let's do this. Three, two, one, go! Uh, Luigi <clears throat> getting first blood. Yep. Um, should be interesting. Like, I'm kind of curious to see how... Because both of these characters have healing. Um, so... It'll be interesting to see how Incineroar does. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, uh, Luigi has more healing than Incineroar, of course, but um, but that might not matter depending on how much damage uh, Incineroar deals. Yeah, and because I, I just remember oh, being yeah, and then Incineroar just getting some of those crits in, and he has already made it a relatively even fight. But Luigi, I mean, that tank style just comes in so much handy here. Um, yeah, like he he got he got like he got like smacked around a lot, and to the point where he was above Incineroar in health. I mean, in damage, and then like he healed it all away. Yeah, and I mean, it's it's going to be interesting. And Incineroar is trying to stay in there though. Um, mm -hmm. So. I mean, I think something yeah. that might actually end up being a factor is Incineroar's final smash. Yeah, I mean, the other thing about Luigi is he also has his up B, and if mm. he can get that to go off, like, that might even kill as early as now. Yeah. Um, if he can get it to go off. I, I think it will kill now. E even on a really tall uh, stage like this. Yeah. Oh, I think it's killed for smaller characters on less damage. Yeah. Oh boy. Now Incineroar's got his final smash at the ready. So does Luigi, though. Who's going to use it first? Uh, Luigi uses oh. it. Oh, but Incineroar oh, no, escapes it. That is unfortunate. And now Incineroar has his unchallenged. He lets it rip. He hits Luigi. Does this kill? If Luigi's uh, I don't below, think so. Not, Luigi not is below 50%. 50. It doesn't. And now Luigi just has time to heal. Yep. But of course, like, Luigi also wants to, you know, deal damage to Incineroar so that uh, he doesn't catch up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it would take a while for Incineroar to catch up, it would though, take because... A, it would take a while, but Incineroar could deal damage to Luigi. <laughs> yeah. All, all Luigi needs is, like, the one up B, and that's it for, Incin for the stock. Yeah, or maybe, like, back throw um, him off the stage. Mate, yeah, that'll work too. I just want him to go tell Incineroar to go away. Um, but he's doing really well. Oh, Incineroar um, has revenge ready. Oh! Ooh! Ow! That was unfortunate. Yeah. And Luigi just needs to return the favor as quickly as he can. Hopefully he will. Maybe? Nope. Yeah, I, I mean, he just hasn't yet, is the thing. Like, he's just not killing. Yeah. Don't know why. Luigi, you need to kill. That That's how this works. Alright, he has his final smash ready. Incineroar sucked into that this will kill, but that seems like a bit of a waste. Especially with Incineroar uh, about to get his final smash. Yeah, I mean, it, it is a little bit, but at the same time, it also gives Luigi the chance to heal and bring it back to a truly equal match. Yeah, plus, uh, um, plus at least Incineroar has his final smash uh, while Luigi's at low percent. Yeah, and if he gets a chance to use oh. it... Oh! Oh! And he it misses! Uh, he still recovers. 
Yeah. Sonora has that revenge point, ready. Was... He could hit with something strong right now. He could. Um, uh, thankfully, it probably wouldn't yeah, kill. No, and it's worn off by now. Yeah. Um. Oh, but man, they're Incineroar is taking the lead for the moment. Uh, hopefully, yeah, Luigi, Luigi can just trying. Can with, Luigi's just trying to hit with those up these actually. But he's just not. He is. With them. That's unfortunate. Um, I think one time, like Incineroar, just looked like he grabbed him out of it somehow. Mm -hmm. um, just the I couldn't quite tell from a frame drop at that moment. Yeah. But yeah. But uh, having said that. Oh no! Uh, no! That was sad. And that that is not good for uh, Luigi. No, it wasn't. But hopefully he can. If he can just get one shot. That's all he needs. All right, he, here's oh, his final hey, smash. He connects with it. It'll probably hit against the uh, TP though. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Maybe. But and so, yeah, and oh. can't make it back. He, he upbeat over the TP and, and landed uh, in the uh, <laughs> just landed in the blast in zone. The, yeah. I will take it. It's basically an even match now, and I mean even match except uh, in Cinemar, except in Cinemar has his final smash almost. Oh, he connects the up oh. finally. Doesn't kill, but it gets him Doesn't some damage kill, on the board. Doesn't kill, but it gets him the damage on the board. I will take it. All right, um, and uh, it's pretty even right now. And cinemar has got his final even. smash it ready is. though. He uh, not for much it. longer. All oh. Luigi has to do is survive. And there goes and... Incineroar's final smash. That could have won oh, the match if he had connected with it. Uh, close it to the edge. It could have. I'm glad he did not. Um, and all Luigi has to do is survive. And oh, that might kill. Oh, no. That's gonna kill. He, he connected. Oh, he made it Oof. back to the ledge. Oof. My heart. My heart it needs. I don't well, know. Luigi, if my you heart know you can, can charge. The, you know you can charge your side V up for an easier recovery, right? Like just sort of like charge it up while you're floating down a bit, and then just snap straight to the ledge, or go to like the side, whatever. Yeah, I don't know that he gets that. Um, anyway, cause it, it seems uh, he loses but... about to get his final smash. If he connects with it, that'll be the game, I believe. Probably. Um... Oh, oh, and Sonora just no! ducks beneath it. And Luigi, you could have just waited just a few seconds, buddy, and that would have been perfect. And now Incineroar is halfway to his final smash. Yep. Luigi needs to take is Incineroar out before matter? he gets it. Uh, Luigi, like, all he needs is uh -oh. one good smash, and that's Revenge. it. Revenge. No, don't do that. Oh, I think he got it. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe. No, I think Incineroar can still recover. Ah. Uh so close. Yeah, Incineroar's got a lot of horizontal drift. <clears throat> Alright, and um, Incineroar's got his final smash at the ready. Is Luigi gonna take him out before he can use it? Or is Incineroar gonna use it on the Luigi? Nope. Oh. Luigi, just run away, let it heal. Yeah, I mean, he's stalling out Incineroar. Keeping him from using that final smash, and he does it. And Sonora's final smash is oh. gone, but he has revenge. Oh, but an up smash! Luigi dabbing oh. on Incineroar, taking him out, and that is oh. that's round one, folks. That 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 was a round. I don't know that my heart can take that. Why? Oof. Eight minutes for round one. <laughs> yeah. 700% damage given. Yeah. And 400%. Did, he, did Luigi recover? How much did Luigi recover versus damage? 400%. Okay. So, uh. so 590 versus 390, that's about 200% that uh, Incineroar dealt that stuck. Yeah. Luigi, Luigi dealt. Luigi uh, healed about double the damage he took. Yeah. All right, well, on to round two, I guess. Let's keep this moving. Yeah, let's keep it moving. Um, Donkey Kong versus Ike. And 
we're on, on flat, flat zone, zone X. X. And this can this can go either way. Like Donkey Kong has gold Mario, yes. But I mean Ike just he he's such a heavy hitter. Like it's one of those where Honestly, it, it's, honestly hard to tell. it's kind of it's kind of a it's kind of mirror-y. Like it kind of feels like yeah. a mirror match to me. Because Donkey Kong, really heavy hitter. He has uh he has a uh, super armor uh with gold Mario. Yep. Ike, really heavy hitter, he has super armor with polar bear. So like it, it kind of depends it, on how, like, just the minutia of how they fight. Does Ike do smash attacks, or does Donkey Kong do special moves? Who connects with yeah. them more? Yeah, who connects, and how close are you to the edge when you connect? Yeah. Donkey Kong, it, it can you know, Donkey away. Kong, Donkey Kong could just grab Ike, cargo through, walk him off the stage, and drop him off. Yeah, yeah, he, he could, could do that three times if he, want, if he wants to. If he wanted to, the AI would never do that, mm -hmm. but it would be glorious. Yeah. All right, so let's let's see how this goes. Yeah, this I think this is a very defining match for. Uh... Yeah, like if, like honestly, I think uh, Beefcakes have to win this match in order <laughs> to have a chance at winning. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Fully charged to a fully charged Donkey Kong punch doing fifty percent. Excuse me? Yeah. Oh, and he back throws him, huh? He just back throws him? Ah, uh, just throws him out like that's just got. What the hell, Donkey Kong? <laughs> what the hell? Why? Well, well, I was so proud hell. of you. Welcome to hell. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I was so proud of you, buddy, and then you'd go and do that. What the hell? Um. What is this stage? But yeah, this is kind of what we expected. What is this stage? Um, I, I'm so happy to see the stage go away soon. I'm not gonna lie. Like, while this stage clearly provides a bigger benefit for Beefcakes than it does for any other character, than it is for any other team, like, it, it is just a coin flip. It's a coin flip that Beefcakes have, like, stacked in their favor. <laughs> yeah. Which I, I get, like I have always been clear, like I like if I was in their position, I would do the same thing. But you know, I mean, I, I'm so happy with Donkey Kong right now. I hope he can just do the do it do the right thing and end Ike now and not give me a heart attack. But like I could also just end I could also just end it now if he wants to. It's it's he one could. it's one hit for Ike. Not it not is that one hit, hit for Donkey like... Kong. Um, like if I connect all to the Donkey Kong smash. needs to do, all Donkey Kong Ooh, needs to do, and is, there it is. That's good. That's, oh, that's the match. my heart. This was such a different match, but my heart—it's still beating so hard. Yeah, um, it's going to be hard for Beefcakes to bring this back now. Yeah, but I mean, you look at the next two matches. I mean, you've got Captain Falcon with Gold Mario, mm -hmm. and then you've got. Ganondorf with Celebi yeah. against Fox. They could do it and they could force this into Mario versus Zero Suit Samus. Yeah. They could. I I think I I think the, the I think we're either it's either ending at a 3-0 or we're going to round five. I I tend to agree. Like I, um, I now that being said. I I, I think I think Link uh look, we can uh, move on right now. I think Link yeah. has the advantage over Captain Falcon on this stage. Yeah, I like. I agree. Because um, all it's going to take is for Link to knock Falcon off edge, even a moderate amount of distance, and that's it. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, like that gold Mario scares me. And then they both have demon style. We're going to be seeing some numbers here. <laughs> yeah, that we're either going to be seeing some very high numbers, or this is going to be a two-second match. <laughs> yeah, one of the two. Yeah. So uh, let's begin. Come on, Link. You can do it. All right. So, yeah, Captain Falcon you know, really needs to. All right, he he gets some. Uh, 
Like he's getting some damage on Link, but Link is, uh, has gotten an early lead, a little bit at least. Yeah, and the, you know, oof, I mean... That smash uh, attack! Oof. Oh man, both those Ooh. smash attacks! Oof! Oh man! I mean, that is what Falcon is built for. I yikes! But uh, Falcon's off stage. He can make it back though. All right. Yeah. But and, and Falcon takes the first stock over Link. This could... he takes the first stock, but all Link has to do is one good smash now, mm -hmm. and that's it for Falcon. Yeah. Or, oh. or a final smash. Or a final smash. I'll take that. Just get him off the stage, Link. Oh boy. Oh, but Captain Falcon gets his final smash first. And he connects oh, with no. it. Oh uh, Link is at 50%. This could be the start of a comeback for Beefcakes. It could be. I hope it's not. Um, Link, do your job. Uh, Link misses with his final smash. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, there we go. Yeah, Captain Falcon can get a hand really Too far, far away, but though. he's hit the wrong direction. He's not taken out yet. Oh, and there we go. One smash there attack takes goes. out Captain Falcon, but Link already with 66% on the board, and now yeah, and now Captain Falcon is, <laughs> now Captain Falcon has super armor again. Yeah, um, Link just needs. You know, it's funny because like for a while, you know, Link would just do his wouldn't use his sword. He would just use his items. Mm -hmm. Now when he needs to use his oh holy crap! Yeah, uh, Link caught up a bit. Oh, but there goes a the stomp. There's a stomp, and there goes Link. Yep. And Captain and Falcon's at his final smash. Is it gonna matter? No, he misses with it. Yep. All Link needs is oh there he goes. No, he he's nope. still in oh, this. Wow. It's a pretty tall stage. It is. I was not expecting him to uh survive that one as oh, hard as he got hit. And that uh, Captain Falcon with the interesting combo of stomp to forward smash. Or down smash, rather. And, um... Yeah. Yeah, he was just taking it to Link. That old Mario just kind of helped him uh, survive. And, and yeah, uh, the, we're kind of at a... Uh, Link's at really high percent right now, and he wasn't able to hit yeah. with his final smash. He knocks Captain Falcon off the stage uh, with a... Yeah, but smash. I mean... All it's going to take is one hit from Falcon, and he is going down. Mm -hmm. Like, unless he manages to gimp Falcon at some point, um, which he could do. Yeah. Um, he is he is probably going to lose this, and we're going to go to round four. Yeah. And there we go, yeah. Captain Falcon down smash. Captain Falcon Ooh. bringing us back. And we could see round four, which means. I think we're probably going to see around five. I think we are too. Like I like Fox; he can do good stuff. Um, but it's Ganondorf on this on f this stupid map. Um, with Celebi on top of that. That being said, Fox is built to crit. Like he is yeah. going to crit a lot, and that could give him what he needs. That's true. This, um. Because he is kind of a, a much more nimble fighter than Ganondorf is. Mm -hmm. And then he does have Gravity Style to help him not go, be knocked back as far. Does Gravity Style reduce your knockback? Uh, I think it keeps you from flying back as far. I thought that was Big B Style. It increases your weight? I think they... Yeah, I think bo both of them increase your weight. Um, I think. No, Gravity Style doesn't increase weight. Uh, well, then I screwed up. Oh well. Oh, nice knowing you, Fox. Alright. So, Fox versus Ganador. On, oh. On Flat Zone X. Uh, let's go, I suppose. <laughs> we already have our predictions. Oh, I know what it is. Uh, gravity style helps you fall faster, yeah. which is very yeah. Gravity style. Gravity style simple. will help will help uh, reduce vertical kills. It'll make fo Fox fall faster, which means he'll uh, which means he won't fly upwards as quickly. 
Uh, the theoretically, yeah. unless he flies upwards so fast that gravity doesn't kick in. Like he flies up yeah. like he's killed in one frame. <laughs> but, um... Yeah. Yeah, Ganondorf uh, with an early lead because of uh, Celebi. Mm -hmm. um, like, it seems and like he's hitting him. Oh, there. There he goes. There he goes. That's what I was waiting for. Yeah. I mean, if you want to just go walk off like Donkey Kong did Ganondorf, I'd be cool with that. Yeah, I, I mean, Fox Fox could, like, throw Ganondorf off the stage. Oh, oh, they're playing close to the edge. And oh. there goes Fox's second stock. There goes Fox's second stock. That's kind of what I expected. Yep. All right, Fox has his final smash, though. He connects with it. This could kill? This could? I don't think it will. It doesn't have a lot nope. of knockback, but maybe? Nope. <clears throat> All right, and oh, that's two up smashes. Yeah, that that's. I mean, the fact that those didn't kill is a testament to gravity style. Uh... Yeah, actually, doesn't... that that's kind of what I expected. Doesn't gravity style make you fall slower? Uh, like it, I believe it's a possibly... fall time uh, increased, not fall speed. Yeah, as I said, either way, I probably I just re <laughs> misread the style. Yeah. And, yeah, as I said, Fox against Ganondorf, I kind of expected that to go to Ganondorf. <laughs> Fox so. dealt 72% damage, Ganondorf recovered 71% damage. Yep. So, that's good. Yep, all right. kind of expected. Okay, next match. So, round five. All right, round five, it all comes down to this. This is for... All the points. Yeah. Like, the loser of this gets eliminated from the playoffs. Mm hmm. Mario versus Zero Suit Samus. Like, I, I think Zero Suit Samus is good. I just think Mario is better at the moment. Yeah, I mean, Zero Suit Samus has a new build. I mean, that could cause things to work different. Yeah. I mean, hopefully in my favor. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. I, um, I mean, her old build wasn't that great, so. Yep. Yeah. Um. Uh, but yeah. Uh. I mean, Zero Suit Samus's new build is Judd, and her final smash is really strong. I mean, it's not that strong, but it's really accurate, and it does yeah. deal a fair bit of damage. Yep. So um, we'll see how it goes. Mario versus Zero Suit Samus. Yep. Thankfully, Mario has Meloetta to help heal mm -hmm. away some of the damage. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see what happens. Alright. So, um, Mario, of course, starting with 30% because of his Majora's Mask. And uh, he's already now, now he has, made this yep, even. Now he's, uh, now he's taking a lead. I mean... We could just see Mario just beat the crap out of Zero Suit Samus, and Zero Suit Samus use the uh, build to recover the the distance. Yeah. Uh, that 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 honestly could happen. I, I mean, um, her, I... her final smash will do slightly less damage with strategy style, I believe, just because uh, it doesn't count as a special move, and regular damage is decreased by like ten percent or something. Yeah. Like, d generally, Demon Style is better for Final Smash spammers. Because you take more damage, which means you charge it up faster. And then you deal more... And then Demon Style is basically the only one that reliably uh, boosts the damage of Final Smashes. Man, I mean, we're talking about that, but I mean... Let's just give Mario credit. He is demolishing Zero Suit Samus. Yeah. <laughs> with just tons of chip oh, damage. <laughs> Zero Suit Samus with the... Uh... Oh! Oh, but, uh, uh, Mar Mario, always Ooh. the gentleman, uh, rescuing Zero Suit Samus from the claws of defeat, and just, just, just to kill her and again. And we're basically, but, um, yeah, just to kill her again. Uh, she has her final and, smash. Is she I going mean, to use it? Uh, she does. Is she going to connect with it? She does. All right. Mario's I mean, at 40%. Congratulations. And now she uses it again. Mario's at I don't think this is going to kill though. I mean, unless no. she, 
she gets really lucky. No. I mean, okay, congratulations. Mario's still on his first uh, stock. I, I mean, she managed to get him up to, like, above 50%. Which is good. And Mario's about to be... Oh, I mean, that's not. Oh, Mario has it's his nothing. final smash. It's not, it's not, not that he is not it, it, built it does for... Like, it does, like, 2%. <laughs> it's, a, it, it's a terrible final smash. It, it, it's... it's, it's... Like, Honestly, it has it, an argument for being very... the worst Final Smash in the game. Yeah, like, it, it's not bad if you can put knockback to it. Yeah. And, like, when you have but, the... Like, I, I think... When you have the Final Smash ball... Yeah, the, the Final Smash ball is a bit better, and, like, if you can get... Like, if you can trap someone off stage. But, like, every move can kill if you can trap someone off stage. Like, jab can kill if you can trap someone off stage. Yeah. That's nothing. Um, but holy crap. Like, Zero Suit Samus is getting some of the damage in, finally, but Mario is yeah, just... it's kind of too little too late at this point, I think. Yeah, like, I don't know that she can... Like, I'm not going to say she can't do it, because we've seen better comebacks in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. um, like, even... Oh! You know, even oh, the... Oh! Oh! Maybe, oh. maybe uh, no. Oh! Mar Mario, Mario is such a gentleman. He's such a nice guy. He rescues your Sid Samus whenever, whenever he, she's about to fall off the stage. And um, here we go. And that kills. There goes Mario's first that stock. Kills. Oh, and he's already at 30%. She's going to use it again. And he's pretty close to the ledge. I'm not sure it will kill. No, it I don't doesn't. think it'll kill. But uh, she does get but some I mean, damage on the board at least. Keeps like, like mitigates yeah. his healing. I mean, it, it mitigates some of that healing, but I mean, if Mario has another, like all he needs at this point is like one good mm -hmm. shot. Still, Zero Suit Samus and is surviving if, for. Oh no, nope, there we go. Up. Uh, yep. And I mean, yeah. <sighs> this is going to be an uphill battle. Um, I'm hoping Mario doesn't let it happen. Just kill her, Mario. Just kill her. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Zero Suit Samus! Oh, gets uh, Mario off the stage! Oh, no. She's evened it up! Edge guard. She's evened up the match! Yep. Holy cow! She has. Mario, just kill her. Oh, Mario has his final smash! Is he going to use it? Is he going to use it to trap her off the stage? That would be nice. Uh, or is he just gonna sit with it? <laughs> Or is he going to miss with it? <laughs> or is he just going to waste it? Yeah. He is like, I don't need no stinking final smash. He probably doesn't. Yeah. Although, I'm getting a little scared. Zero Suit Samus is uh, getting a little high up on the final smash meter. Yeah, I, I mean, Mario's pretty low in percent, so she, she needs to get him to, like... She needs to get him to, like, 30% on her own before the final smash. Uh, in order for it to be, like, a real danger. You know? Oh, all the... Is that gonna matter? Oh. No. Don't edge guard Mario. Just... Just kill her. Just please. All right, just th this, kill her. this won't kill, for sure. Uh, the question is, uh, will her next one kill? Alright. Um... Uh, no. But, like I said, she needed to get him above, like, 30% for that to be a real danger, but she's managed to get some percent on him. Yeah. Oh! And the smash oh. pass all the way from downtown. We are across the stage and yep. taking it. And Classic Mode, champ Classic Mode Champions will be moving on uh, to face third wheels, and Beefcakes are out of the playoffs. Yeah, man. Con good game, Beefcakes. Enjoy your offseason. Still, that, that was one of the more effective Final Smash that was... builds. Like, that's... Six final smashes, all it, of them it, connecting? That was a lot. Yeah, no, that was really, really good. Um, like, and I, I don't know that we'd ever see it be that effective in the main season, but, like, against someone who did not have a healing build, mm -hmm. that could have been really devastating. Yeah, and, and uh, honestly, um, if, she was on, if she was on demon style, where, like, th those were dealing more damage, they were like, 
and, and like she was getting to the final smashes faster. Um, yeah, I could have seen that do really well. That could have been a real danger. Yeah, no, it definitely could have been. And, and like if she was, and like with Demon Style, she probably she might have even been able to get Mario to higher percent before uh, dealing those final smashes. Possibly. But um. So no. Yeah, yeah, that's that's it that for was, the week. That was a good match. Um, next week is uh, only one match because uh, Musketeers are locked into the uh, championships. So next week is just a uh, uh, third wheels home match versus uh, uh, classic mode champions away. <sighs> and one of the uh, one of the two teams <clears throat> who who has already been eliminated by Musketeers will be going on to face Musketeers in the championship match again. Yeah. Again. I mean, to be fair, it, uh, the championships are a squad strike. So, it'll make things interesting, that's for sure. Yeah. Also, so. um, remember, the championships are coming up, so re remember to keep in mind what you're going to be posting for uh, the Kaiju League and the uh, and the King of Smash uh, submissions. A every team uh, needs, to, needs to submit uh, two fighters for Kaiju League, because that's uh, doubles matches. Uh, and uh, three fighters for uh, King of Smash because it's a 3v3 squad strike and they can't be the same characters. So uh, just one of your characters will be uh, not included. Nice. So, um, yeah, that's all for this week. All right. See you guys yeah. later. Bye.